Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 14, 2024, our system has ranked Microsoft as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.38. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 8.26%. This translates to an average return of 0.28% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 6.26%. 26% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 4.42% and 6.26%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 36.02% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 22.63% and 44.38%. This translates to a price range of $553.02 to $651.08 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Microsoft stock price ended at $450.95 on Tuesday after gaining 0.733%. The Microsoft stock price gained 0.733% on the last trading day, Tuesday, 25th June, 2024, rising from $447.67 to $450.95. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 1.05% from a day low at $446.75 to a day high of $451.42. The price has risen in seven of the last 10 days and is up by 5.39% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign. And in total, 1 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 17 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7,540,000,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $452.75 and the lowest price was $309.45. Currently, the price is 0.40% or $1.80 below the 52-week high of $452.75, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings On Friday, June 21, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, June 18, 2024, it was reported that Jefferies gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Sunday, June 16, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave Microsoft an outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Tigress Financial gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, June 7, 2024, it was reported that New Street gave Microsoft a buy grade with an initialize action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the price to earnings ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The Microsoft stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, 
there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $447.34 and $427.51. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, April 30th, 2024, and so far it has risen 15.83%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MFD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, buy signal 39 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal six days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal 15 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 32 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 30 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 15 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 37 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 162 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft finds support from accumulated volume at $449.78, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $4.67 between high and low, or 1.05%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.15%. Before we delve into the potential favorable trading levels for Microsoft, let's briefly discuss some crucial fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This important ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its per share earnings. This is a relatively standard PE ratio, commonly observed in companies with extensive track records or consistent revenues. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q2 2024 is anticipated on the 23rd of July, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $2.90. It is essential to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $449.78. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On June 7, 2024, Walmsley Emma N conducted an insider buy of 234 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Rodriguez Carlos A. conducted an insider buy of 5,369 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Pritzker Penny S. conducted an insider buy of 20,894 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Peterson Sandra E. conducted an insider buy of 40,358 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, MacGregor Catherine conducted an insider buy of 746 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 84.387. Overall, insiders purchased 14,177 shares and sold 204,298 shares 
in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $436.34, negative 3.24%. This stock has medium daily movements, indicating medium risk. The relative strength index 14 is 88, significantly increasing the risk. A buy signal comes from a pivot bottom identified 65 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for Microsoft stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, June 26, we expect Microsoft to open down negative $1.24 and start trading at $449.71. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.